Capai de Mara Mara Tupac com Miz Caça Blanca de Catonga Tufia Eu tenho os siblings, eu tenho os Junior Brothers Eu tenho os primeiros da sexta zona Eu tenho os filhos da família Os filhos, os irmãos, os irmãos, os irmãos Eu tenho os filhos When I was young, my mom did take us to redemption camp, and then there was one day I was I was meant to go with the church boys back to the Kodu from redemption camp, and then I was holding my sister, and then someone just walked past between me and my sister, and we left each other's hand, and I was meant to turn around and look for my sister, and I didn't see my sister, and they got to Kodu before remembering that I was not in the church bus. It was, it was a mad thing that day. <laughs> it's, it's a long story. We got home. I was able to track one. There was one of my dad's tenants that sells something in the initial camp, but I know where he sells something. So I had to run down to the shop and they was already packing to go home as well. They already got to go and they, they were looking for me inside the bus to come down. So I had to go with the other man to the Kodjo. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Now I started music 2012 when I finished my and I got influenced by friends. I started going to the studio with them and then I started doing music little by bit. But I got to a time when I got admitted to Machida Bella Polytechnic. So just after one year that I started my music, like after a year or two years I started my music career, I didn't even have up to three tracks then. The songs that I even had there were I mean, on, on mixed song but there was no proper song that you could provide as a song. But then a competition came up then in the school and then I was able to like, get the attention of the students as a fresher. Then they noticed me then at the bus shed. And after then later one mic came to the school. Later they brought a competition to the school, which was later one mic. It was meant to be between the institutions in Ogun State. So I didn't even believe that something like that was, was possible. Like saying if you get to win, you're gonna get a brand new car. Like who, who ever gives someone a brand new car? I was, I, was, I was not paying attention to it. So one of my friends came to the class to ginger me up that guy, yeah, let's just give it a try. It's just 15 and a half card you have to buy. Like, and I told him to go and buy the same card if he wants, uh, he should go and get it from there. I don't have to now to buy the same card. So he bought the same card and then brought the form to the class and I filled it. Then one way or the other, we held the competition, the school owned. I won in the school. Me and one other guy, went, we won in the school to represent our institution. So we went to the regional final and then luckily I became the winner that day. So that day I won the car, brand new car, and ever since then, I just made up my mind that if I can actually win a car at the age of 19 with this music that I've not done so much with that, I should really put in my effort in it. And that's how I was able to like push and push and push and push and push to this extent. Yeah. It was not really that hard. Like, if you listen to the likes of Whiskey and the video technique that they listen to, Outside there now that representing Nigeria, well, they still add the kind of they see it is not still pure total English. You hear techno saying I go chuku chuku something like I go chuku 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 because be you understand because be that's still able like the music still go far. So I believe it's just grace, you know. There's nothing hard like the indigenous part of being doing your bar is not that every time it's just gonna be hard hard your bar. There's a way we can still break it down that even people outside will be able to vibe to it, you get me? So, I don't see it as a barrier. It's just timing, everything comes in time. Like, it's a stone by stone, it's gonna work out when it's meant to work out. That was Osami, the one I recorded with David Do. When I recorded that song, some few weeks later, I know what I actually did to record that song. I went to a lot to record that song with him out of no time or no. Then some weeks later, the police are fresh, had an issue, and then he misplaced the hard drive that the song was. So 
I only had the MP3 of the raw one that was on Mr. and Master and I was like, what's gonna happen? And it's hard to get David down to start recording all of it. And they were like, you might record it there because even David's song on that, that drive was, was much as well. So <laughs> he has to do his own first before even considering attending to me. So I just felt like I was gonna drop the or mixed one like that. I don't care. That as long as it's David that is there, people are gonna listen to it. So later on, I still I kept the song because I was not even ready because I I didn't have enough to actually push the song out properly then. So I was keeping the song along the line, like after six months, the producer called me again and he saw my data somewhere, 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 somewhere again and then we met, met each other again and we adjusted the song again. It took like another few months because I was having issues with my myself then, like some low-key personal issues that was not allowing me to get focused there then. So I had to wait like another year. So it took me like one year to actually drop that song. After like one year that I've listened to it by myself with my friends and so I wasn't really when the song came out it wasn't really that serious to me because I've heard it by everyone. So that was one of the songs I know that I actually faced a lot to get the song out here. Yeah. And I shot the video twice. Because I shot the video like I shot the video like a year ago when I recorded the song. I shot this video with the with the raw one. So when I was ready to drop the song after a year, like my look already changed. Already, so I had to like shoot another part again to get David. Like we had to travel to Ghana together and then shoot another song. We could mix it with the old one. So it's really stressful. Alamde, yeah, Alamde, no. Alamde is the reason why I'm even like. Ninety P is the reason why I'm doing this right now because. I never had plans of doing music then, but I, only, I loved music, I loved listening to music. But then, I remember when I was growing up, like, it was then, in the likes of them, Two Faced and the band, like it was, music was was serious, that like, we didn't even pay attention to it that much. So when the likes of like Whiskey came into the game with their age, then Olamide came in with his young age as well, then I was able to see myself from an intro, I was following up and then, I was able to see myself that this guy got to this extent like gradually he was doing it and he got to this extent. I was able to see for myself and so definitely. So I loved all the songs, I listened to the songs. When I started music, I started with English then. When I was listening to there was one day I Vector Second, this album came out, the title was Second Coming, and when I listened to the album I was like can I really make it up to this system with this English food? I'm not sure I could do better. I can't do better like this. I had to go back home and then I went to try the Yoruba and then I saw that Yoruba was working much better for me. So I had to switch to proper indigenous Yoruba app. And then, Alive in the day, you know now, it's the baddest guy I've ever lived in. Seven years, seven albums, right? To me, I believe the Lamy Day should go for like the whole year without dropping anything. It's still the same Lamy Day that it's going to be because he has done so much, so, so much. He's among those that actually made it possible for me to be. So many artists like that, I can't even count from different parts, from the east side, from the west. Getting Lamy Day has done so much for so many people to put them on, including me. So. There's one person I respect so much till tomorrow. First, the Zanku actually means that time I beg no killers. Yeah. So, the Zanku dance, like, it started from the street. It started from the street. And I, went, I do go to the street. I went to, I went to Fela Shrine one day and then. If you go to Fela Shred on Friday, you're going to see people from Agiki, people from proper mainland boys that are always happy for no reason, without <laughs> reason they are happy because they can't kill yourself. Yeah, so I used to see the moves and I went to Shred one day, I saw a little bit of one move and I was liking it. Then I went to him and then I added one or two, three, four, five moves to it and then I rebranded it and then I gave it a name, Zanku. And then I didn't believe it was gonna be like this until it happened, like, because you don't know until it happened. Yeah, so.
Definitely, there's always a like, it is normal. As long as came, I don't want to rent. Yahoo came, Yahoo went. Shocky, Skinnero, Shaki Tibobo, you get me. So definitely, Zanku is not just a dance. So, Zanku dance, the Zanku dance might actually go. And it's not going to anywhere because if whenever you're going to make, when you're going to acknowledge all the dances that, that are there, yeah, so you're going to forever going to mention, it's going to be there forever. So it's not going anywhere because at every point in this life, it's still going to come back again and then. Yeah, it is there forever because right now, we are not doing Shaku again, but we're still talking about Shaku, we're still talking about Azonto, so Zanko is going to be there. So, that time is going to be there forever too. Zanku dance might actually step down for another dance that's going to come up. And don't be surprised if that time still comes up with another dance and still give you another name and then. So there's still a lot to be seen. This is just starting point. Yes, no. I'm a, I'm a street boy, yeah. I know. It is, it is so, so different on the streets. It is not by walking on the streets as when you become a street boy. It is what you've seen and what you've gone through. Like, as an artist, for me, I'm a street artist, like not being signed by a popular record label owner. I know what to do to get to this thing. Like, maybe it would have been much easier for me if I was signed by Don Jazzy or I was signed by Lamude or by Rosen. Like, so it is proper street way. Um, it's, it was not by my efforts. It was God's grace, so I give God the glory. Yeah, I give back to the street every day, every day of my life. Like my whole lifestyle is giving back to the street. My my success story is giving back to the street. Yeah. There are so many people in my hood that know that know me. Like when we used to play ball up and down the street, know me. People from my school that know how I started. Like. My success story is, is giving back to them to let them know that if they don't give up, actually they can be great as well. And then, personally, I don't need to start stating how I've been giving back. Yeah, so I know I've been giving back as well to the street. But main, mainly, like letting the people know that anything is possible and they can make it out of nothing is the biggest thing I know that I've given back to them. Yeah, dog. Why do you work with Cardi Blinks? You work with Cardi Blinks? No, no. My new song is out. She featured me and I'm uh, on the song. Okay. Yeah. And Miss Kiss. I love her song too. I love to work with Simi as well. To us, I really know. So I don't have problem working with anybody. As long as we need each other to grow, yeah. Uh, I respect everybody you know, as long as everybody that is doing well. Like, I respect, I if I start listing, I'm not going to list all of them, so I respect all of them. No, no. No, yeah, yeah. No, nah, I stay on the island now, so I've been on the island now for like, more than a year now, so actually, what they're trying to say is like people from the street, like, Basically, like you know, there are the people that are not financially okay, very okay. Like they have to do this and do this to make sure this has to fall in place. So it's a normal thing that you start from the old. Almost everybody start from the old, and then you can't be in the old forever. Yes, now me, I, I didn't even I left the old even before I started making money. Yeah, because I I know the hood can't really give me, can't really offer me what I wanted. Like, when I actually want the car, I was meant to go back to the hood after schooling and then with that car, it was, it was some people that they would feel so comfortable and want to brag with the car and the hood and then become a local champion. But I had to, I had to tell my mom that I'm not coming home. That I have to stay in town to actually look for a way to make sure my music works out. And then, because I know if I go back to Kudu, 
it's going to be hard for me. Like, she was like, no, it's because of the car that I want to go out and start flex. And I told her that if it's about the power that I can send someone to take the car, to bring the car home, and then I'm going to be outside. I just need to focus and then know what I'm doing. And when I told her that, she was like, ah, maybe there was a reason. And she said she would like to know where I'm staying, like, so sure, at least she can. And she was able to come and see me where I was squatting in the cage, and then now the hood are very, very proud of me. I still go to the hood once in a while. I'm still going to give back to the hood. Like, I'm not really scared to go to There's nothing they can do for me. Like, as long as I'm making them proud outside there, man. In my song, I stay down for me, Kodu. I mentioned where I'm from, man. They know, they know, they know I just need to also. <laughs> It's the same thing, it's the same thing, like people pay less attention to you when you are, you are not there. Like they pay less attention to you, like in the media houses and all. This is not, it is not that they are willing to do it, but it is just part of the procedure you are going to face before you get there, so that when you get there, you actually know what it takes to actually get there. Like nobody is going to send you if you are not popping. Like as an upcoming artist, they're just gonna give you. They're gonna give you less attention. You need to actually prove to them that yes, these people need to to focus on much better. So about I'm blackface. I used to enjoy their music back then, and then you know, there's there's always a problem at one point or the other. They they will solve their they will solve their problem out. They said they were plantation boys, uh, they were till I was not among them, I mean, we were not for, so I don't really know what's going on among them. So they are going to solve their problem among themselves. Uh. To make money, I'm not suffering like that, to, to protect my future. 